Maybe we can give them one minute or two to see if we have a, a, a good, um, oh, we, we start having a good uh, number of people. Sorry, we've been a little bit trumbled. Uh, apparently there is a global shutdown for uh, WhatsApp, Facebook and Instagram, which has obviously some impact on the alliance communication that we have for the annual meeting. But we're very glad that Zoom is still working and to have you all for this wrap up session of the day. Uh, it's um, yeah. So I think we can start because it has been um, it has been a good day. But oh, thank you for not noticing a thing. But it has been a good day. But I'm sure for some of us it has been already a long day. So time has come to wrap up. Uh, our first day of our first 2021 annual meeting uh, day, the first of the week. First of all, we've been super impressed to see the number of you uh, showing up today. Um, and so it was great. It was great to be able to connect with you. And I will hand over very quickly to Hani for a couple of takeaways of, of two days uh, different sessions. And then, um, and then I will come back to explain a little bit what's going to happen uh, tomorrow. All right, Hanin, the floor is yours. Great, right. thank you very much. Yeah, just quickly, some of the things that that I noted and uh, some of my colleagues have helped me kind of put down. Um, first of all, um, it seems that we need to approach the issue of prevention and primary prevention um, from a systemic level. Uh, that it's not just something that that we can do in our programs, but also through this, the government systems and um, and, and others. The other element um, is uh, the, the issue of working with other sectors uh, that came out strongly in, in different discussions. Um, it was it was good that we had someone representing social protection, and they seem to be very uh, clear that they from social protection perspective, they see themselves as an actor in preventing harm. Um, there's clearly appetite among child protection actors to discuss prevention. Um, and as we all saw, some of the questions that were coming in were so detailed and it was clear that people have been thinking about these issues um, for a long time. Uh, there's a lot of interest and attention to the, to the assessment phase of, um, of, of basically changing the way we program. Um, and it seems that there, there might be a need to, to, for a true shift in the way that we do assessments in our, in our sector. Um, it seems that many colleagues are already doing um, some level of pre pre uh, primary prevention or some sort of pre primary prevention, even though it may not be called that, uh, but it seems that a lot of us are doing that. Uh, and we are, it's very clear that evidence is pretty scarce on preventive programming and humanitarian action uh, and that we need to work on it more systematically and make sure that we have evidence for advocacy and for programming. Handing over back to you, Audrey. Great. Thank you so much for those inspiring takeaways and I can just agree with you. It was fantastic to see the level of question and engagement from all of you guys uh, on this very first day. So looking forward, what's going to happen tomorrow? First of all, before, before I'm going to give you some clue about tomorrow, just look at the chat box. We have posted the link to the survey to get your evaluation, and we will do that on a daily basis. So get used to that. It's, it's a few questions. It's really for us to get, you know, how it has been going for you guys and how everything is, you know, the usual appreciation, evaluation, uh, feedback um, that you can provide to us. Now, regarding tomorrow, as I said this morning, it's a menu a la carte. You pick and choose what you can see. It's going to start tomorrow um, at 10 a.m. CET time with two sessions uh, where you will have additional presentations on prevention. Uh, so to, uh, 10 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. CET time. Uh, look at those in the agenda. They look fantastic. And then we will directly resume for a big chunk of our afternoon uh, to thematic session. 
so same, it will start at 1.30 and then it will go through the afternoon until five um, ish. <laughs> Get the agenda, do better than I do. Um, so then um, around five, we will have, uh, we will come back together in plenary for the celebrating the fifth anniversary of the Alliance. We have prepared uh, a few surprises, hoping that uh, you will be happy with those. Um, and then this will be followed by a social event uh, in the coffee lounge afterwards to keep networking and coming together. Hani, do you want to add anything? No? No, I just appreciate everyone who has stayed all through the day. Uh, there's still 83 people here. So really thank you for staying with us. And as one of you said today, uh, it's fantastic to read and to hear, as one of you said today, that you have already met new friends. And we hope that the rest of the week will be the same and you get you are going to get even closer. So on this note, have a beautiful evening and uh, see you tomorrow.